Steel is an episode of the American television anthology series The Twilight Zone. Set in the near future, its premise is that human boxing has been banned and replaced by android boxing. The story follows a once famous human boxer who works as a manager for an antiquated android while struggling to come to grips with his career having been taken over by machines. Topic. Opening narration Topic. Plot This episode is set in August 1974, almost 11 years in the future at the time that this episode was made. As boxing between human fighters was criminalized in 1968, the sport is dominated by fighting robots. Former boxer Steel Kelly played by Lee Marvin manages a B-2 model robot called Battling Maxo. Maxo is an older model that is no longer in demand. Kelly and his partner, Pole, have used the last of their money to get to the fight venue. They are being given this chance because one of the scheduled fighters was damaged in transport. Kelly has to assure the fight promoter that Maxo will be able to fight. After the fight promoter leaves, Kelly and Pole argue about Maxo's fitness. Kelly feels that Maxo should be able to go through with the fight despite its age and condition. Pole tests Maxo's functions and an arm spring fails. They do not have the parts or the money to fix him. Kelly decides that he will disguise himself as Maxo in order to collect the money necessary for repairs. Despite a valiant effort, he is unable to damage the B-7 robot he is fighting, even when he lands an unblocked punch directly in the back of its head. He is nearly killed but manages to last a little under three minutes. The crowd jeers and boos at Maxo's performance, not knowing that it is a human doing the fighting. Afterwards, the fight promoter will only give them half the prize money because of Maxo's poor performance. Kelly dares not protest, or the promoter will recognize him as Maxo and renege entirely. Kelly, bruised but stubborn as ever, tells Paul that they will use the money to get the parts to fix Maxo. <laughs> Topic. Closing narration Topic production notes This was the first episode sponsored by Procter & Gamble alternating sponsorship with American Tobacco, who usually pitch Crest Toothpaste, Lilt Home Permanent, and Prell Shampoo, among their other products. Serling was not required to endorse any of P&G's products at the end of their episodes. Serling, in his narration, had predicted that professional boxing would be outlawed within five years of the episode's airing. At the time, the sport was mired in controversy after Emil Griffith killed his opponent Benny Perrette in a nationally televised and particularly brutal 1962 match. With Perret's death at Griffith's hands, as well as the death of Davy Moore from an inadvertent neck injury sustained in a March 1963 contest, the specter of the sport being outlawed was a realistic possibility at the time Steel was broadcast. Serling's prediction did not come to fruition, although boxing declined in popularity in the succeeding years, it has never been outlawed. Topic. See also Real Steel, a 2011 American science fiction film also based on Richard Matheson's short story I, Annoyed Grunt, Bot, a 2004 episode of The Simpsons with a similar plot Raging Bender from the second season of Futurama also depicts a hidden human controller of a robotic boxer